Hello everyone, and welcome back to the next installment of the play log for Star Fox 64. This time we're heading to the Venom Outpost of Bolts. If you destroy the satellite, we can go straight for Venom. Be careful, Fox. I'm on it. And that's going to be our mission for today. We're going to the satellite to blow it up, basically. And to do that, we need to get its core to appear. Okay, guys. But it's covered by a barrier, an energy shield that we're not going to be able to penetrate with our standard lasers. So we got to do what Peppy just said and blow up the energy towers. The shields also extend to the enemy ships as well and I just got whammied right there. Whoops. I'm going to ignore those turrets for a bit because... I'm gonna when we take out the the satellite pylons the station is rotating right now and the moment I take all these out it'll stop rotating it'll make it a lot easier for me to shoot down those turrets and I almost take it out and there we go now we've got a whole bunch of defense ships coming out trying to trying to stop us from further scuppering their plans. So we gotta take down a few ships and doing so will allow the core to appear. And holy jeez, they are just flying around everywhere. Managed to save Peppy. And Falco. And we still got a whole bunch of enemies going around. But we're Star Fox. We should be able to handle it pretty well. And there's the core. It's right in the middle. And you'll see these yellow glowing spots on them. And our goal is to blow them all up. Now, since we arrived you know, at this place after defeating Star Wolf. Uh, they're not gonna show up here to try to stop us from destroying this place. But I'll show how that confrontation goes later down the line. But because Star Wolf is also not here, it makes it a lot harder to reach the high score threshold. So we're gonna be sticking around here, shooting down some ships a little bit. Just gonna keep on flying around. In each one of those uh, satellite panels, I guess if we want to call it, they're worth 10, uh, 11 points. About as much as killing a normal boss would be, so that is definitely a nice. I want to say there are 15 of those pylons, of the panels on there, but I do not remember it off the top of my head. But we're still getting our way up to the to the 150 mark to get ourselves a medal at bolts. And we're still taking advantage of those turrets that are sitting around. And you can see that yeah, Andros's forces are being quite persistent. Gotta save Slippy first. There we go. And I believe there's only one panel left. So we'll probably take that down next. The problem is, like, since that core rotates a little bit, you, there's a good chance you won't be able to see the panel. But we took it out. And we caused... A chain reaction to happen on the satellite, and it goes kablooey. So that takes care of that. But now we're going to see what happens when we fight Star Wolf. Playtime is over, Star Fox. I think I'll talk to you for a while. Daddy screamed real good before he... You'll be sorry you crossed us, 
Ah. Andrew just cut off, you know, Pigma. That's always nice when stuff like that happens. And you can see the score difference was a lot greater this time. I was at like 200 at the end of this. And there goes the satellite once again. All right. And since we've, you know, destroyed the bull satellite, now we're moving on to Venom itself. And this is going to be one of the hardest levels in the game. Because of the sheer amount of enemies they throw at you. And this right here is a reference to the original Star Fox with how you arrived on the planet Venom, just spinning down to the surface like that. And already right there, there's just so many enemies. And this is why you want to stockpile on the, on the bombs, because there's just so much stuff thrown at you. We're not even a minute into the stage, we're already at 66 points. A whole bunch of pillars in our way. Don't want to crash into those. Some more enemies coming in trying to take us out. But they're no match for our, for our wings, so we can just take them down with these. Now up ahead is going to be a fork in the path. If you want to try to get the most points, I would recommend sticking to the right all the time. It gives you plenty of opportunities to shoot down some enemies like this. Keep on sticking to the right. And what I wanted to do was lock on to those flying enemies, but all of these tanks are everywhere, so gotta have to use the bomb to to make do. Some more enemies coming out trying to take us out. And there's just a whole bunch of these tanks just sitting around. And now we've got spires erupting from the ground. No idea why they're actually doing that, but it is an obstacle for us to avoid nonetheless. Now we're about to have some... Uh, pillars mater materialize out of thin air. Just gotta avoid that as well. If you boost up pretty far, you'll be able to avoid most of them if you're feeling gutsy. And we've got a special call coming in from Andros. Also, if you don't have all of Team Star Fox there, they will not be able to shoot down that spinning pillar, and you'd have to try to dodge it a different way. And there's an ominous temple that we're flying towards. Hinting at a civilization that once existed on planet Venom. Never really touched upon, though. And this is Golemek. And it looks like so far he's running away from us. But he's really trying to lead us into the temple's hidden traps. And what we want to do to try to take him out is to keep shooting off the stone that covers the interior robot. We start with the main body parts first, then we eventually move on to the to the head. You'll know you'll be able to shoot the head when it turns red. And then after that you want to shoot the core in the middle. And oh god, I forgot how far away he ran from me. See, the head's all red now. And then the core will turn red once the head is broken off, and that's when we start damaging him once again. Somehow managed to get through that without crashing into anything. And there we go. We managed to take him out. But we're not done yet. We have one final 
one final opponent to go up against. And that's going to be Andros himself. And Fox decides to go in alone because it really is his personal fight. Because Andros was the one who, who killed James McCloud. So of course Fox would be the one to go up against him. Know that I control the galaxy. Not yet. And these little electric pylon things don't normally give off points. But when you use the charge shot exploitation, you can still get you can still get some points off of them. And the Keep on destroying the things. And this is only the easy path to Andros. And there he is, looming in the shadows. And you can see that Andros has taken the the bioweapon experiment experiments too far. He's turned himself into one. He's just a giant floating head with two mechanical hands now. Just showing off what Andros can do in the boss fight. Barrel roll to the right to avoid being sucked in. And then he'll spit out a whole bunch of debris at you. So what you want to do is you want to destroy his hands first. And to make it easier for yourself, shoot his eyes. And that'll make him irritated. And then he'll counterattack with a laser beam from his right hand. So keep shooting his eyes and then take advantage of him being stunned and just keep blowing up the hands. And I'm about to show off something else with this. We're going to shoot a bomb inside his mouth. And if he still had hands, this would leave them vulnerable as well. But now we just want to shoot his eyes. And it turns out this Andros was a robot. So that means the real Andros is still out there somewhere. But we'll explore that in the later parts of the playthrough. But for now we're going to escape this base before it consumes us. And there we go. We managed to take out Andros. Dang right I am. Yes, I did. Okay, I'll admit it. You did good, Fox. I did well, Falco. And yeah, this was the easy path to Venom. And now we get to watch the credits. And thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. On this particular path of Star Fox 64, we will be back to continue on the normal route, and then we'll go on the hard route after this. But until next time, I'll let the credits just play out, and I'll see you next time. Take care.
Starbucks. We are in your debt. I would be honored to have you as part of the Cornarian... Oh, no, sir. We prefer doing things our own way. Great Fox is ready to go. It's time for us to go now. <laughs>